good morning everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here hi welcome i'm so glad you found this video and my channel for everyone else welcome back i am a budgeting mom of two i am currently on a debt-free journey while also trying to increase my savings for my lifestyle and my kids so if you guys like what you see make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos for today's video it's going to be a little different i am doing a cash stuffing and also an unstuffing at the same time i just wanted to do it both in one video and get it done this is my first time doing this in a long time don't mind me as i try to figure out a way that works best for me for today's video this is using my etsy income for the month of february i know i only opened for about two weeks but i made a really good amount it almost matched january's which is insane from my total sales i made eight thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars and twenty seven cents and after fees shipping fees transaction fees listing fees and all those fees that etsy charges you I am down to $6,084.67 and after taxes, I am now down to $4,258 and then after I put 20% away for savings, I am now at $3,407. So we are not stuffing that entire amount. I might add a little more here and there, but I want to put away a majority of the money to go towards my car or like emergency funds or savings. So I did switch into this wallet right here because we had a lot to do over the last weekend and I feel really bad because I wanted to vlog but I felt like so rushed. Okay, so I do have some change in here that I wanna get rid of now. Okay, so that is done. I do have some change here. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, let's see if I can remember that for the end of this video. So we'll get into this after I do my um main binder which is my high priority okay let's see how we're gonna do this amazon prime is getting eleven dollars so if it's eleven we now have ten twenty thirty forty fifty fifty one fifty two fifty three four fifty five okay i don't think i have a lot of fifties So I do know that my savings and my kids have a lot of 50s. This is 50, 100, 150, 200. So I'm going to swap these actually right now. Um, savings, I'll probably swap some out for savings as well. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Um, so this is 200 and I have, okay, no, I'll get to it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next we have birthdays. Birthday says 10, 20, 30, 40. So if I add another 10, that makes it 50. So let's put that back. All right, birthdays is now all done. Next up for bubs, should be the same thing at 40. And I add a 50 in here because he's getting another $10. Bubs is now all done. Next up for Christmas. Christmas is getting $40, so this has 20, 40, so now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, nice. Two twenty. 
Christmas is going, you guys. So nice. And also, um, just wanted to say really quickly, if you guys order any of my envelopes, just know that it can hold about like 20 bills comfortably, but I wouldn't suggest it. Um, I would suggest doing a bill swap when it does get bigger because I don't like the structure of the envelopes to be um, like stretched like that. So it's just one thing to keep in mind. I'll show you in my other um, binder slash wallet how it looks like when it's like super puffy and like it's not cute. I would suggest doing a bill swap. All right, next up for emergency. I don't know if you guys um, remember that I mentioned I do want to increase my emergency amount just because I feel like my savings, it is it is going great, it's amazing. And with the additional income that I'm making from, from everyone's support, you guys are really helping me get there, so thank you, thank you, thank you again. As a token of my appreciation, I will be picking a winner for tomorrow, and I will be sending out the $10. Um, I have been doing that on my Instagram as well, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can do that as well. On Instagram, I actually chose five winners for this like flash giveaway, and I really want to do more of them because... As I make more money, I do want to give more money back. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram for more chances to win, um, go ahead and do that. I'll have everything linked down below. Okay, so I mentioned I do want to increase my emergency funds just because my savings is going amazing. So I do want to put in $50 for this. So if I put in 50, I now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. We're going to swap it out right now. Okay, nice. All right, next up for eye care. For eye care, I actually had to pay a $30 fee recently. Um, eye care currently has 15. I will be adding another the $15. So let's just put 30. And I got my prescription. It's pretty bad. <laughs> and now I have to purchase the contacts. I will probably purchase it within a week. Um, but I know that we have another paycheck coming up this week as well as my tax refund amount. I can take that and throw that into my eye care envelope to help me get the contacts that I need. Eye care is now all done. Next up for kids, kids will be getting $50, so now they have $250. Next up for kids' birthdays, kids' birthday currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, perfect. Um, so this will be getting $25. Hmm. I might put in a little bit more. So now it has 125. I might put in a little bit more depending on how much I have left over. Because I think I remember I had like $15 extra from my wallet. We're going to wait until the end for that. Next up for savings. For savings. This has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 475, 490, 510. Okay, so savings is going to get the usual $50. And then for the challenge, I am putting in, I am going to put in, let's just put 110. Okay. So savings challenge is 110. And savings itself is 50 so sorry if it's a little confusing I do have a monthly savings binder that I did not make my own envelopes for because it's currently in my dad's and I still don't have time to make it so okay so now savings currently has 100 200 300 400 500 550 600 620, 640, 660, 680, 690. Wow. Okay, so let's swap this out for another 100. 
and this has 24 to 6880. Um, so let's put this one back and put a 50. Wow, that was that was just unnecessary. <laughs> okay, so much nicer. Okay. All right, savings is now all done. Next up for vacation, this will be getting $20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Perfect. Nice. So much thinner, you guys. I love it. I love it that it's so nice and slim now. Okay, next up. So I had my envelopes in here, which I will probably go back into, but because I was running so many errands, I put my cash envelopes in this wallet right here. This is just the basic Amazon wallet that everyone has, nothing crazy. Um, I took out my cards though so that nothing shows besides Costco. Um, but we did run so many errands and most of these are depleted but it's okay we're just gonna fill everything back up so for eating out we actually used up everything because it was his mom's birthday and um, I ended up paying for everyone and then we actually took her out on Monday night and I paid for that as well we went over budget because I didn't expect to be paying for everybody but um, it was like very last minute but it's okay because I do have a buffer in my account. It doesn't really hurt my account right now. So we're just going to build everything back up. I'm very thankful for the tax refund because it's really helping me keep a, a cushion. And it's a really nice cushion. So for eating out, I'm putting in um, another $100. We are going to try to preserve this eating out and hopefully not run through this as quickly as we did. Next up for gas, we did um, pay for gas recently, so I'm gonna put another $50. We shouldn't need to fill up for gas uh, for at least another week or two, depending if we need to go to like the OC for the market or whatever my fiance needs to um, get done in the OC. If that's the case, we will have the funds ready to go. Next up for groceries, I did dip into my groceries. Um, we bought some groceries, but the amount that I had saved and the amount that we spent at Costco was on the dot. I did have to dip into my groceries envelope because I did pay for my mother-in-law's um, items and I did not expect it to be another like $60, $70 on top. So if I didn't have to pay for the additional items from her, then it would literally be like on the dot. I think I had $380 saved up for Costco and I think the, the amount total without her items were about $370. We're going to repeat this so that we have everything ready. So groceries now has So 304. Let's swap this out. I do like using bigger bills. When I go grocery shopping. This would be like that. Okay, so 300. So it currently has 300 and four. I do have more large bills. So I'm going to get that right now. Okay, sorry I was cut off. Now groceries has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 501, 502, 503, 504, which is awesome. We do have to go grocery shopping maybe tomorrow. And I do want to take you guys along just to show you like what I spend and like the meals that we make with this, it's really easy and it doesn't cost too much. That's why we're able to still have a good amount at home. Like we like to eat at home a lot. Anyways, for family fun, this has how many bills? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16. So this has 16 bills, okay? And this is how it looks like. I think I was talking to you guys about how this would look like. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that it gets pretty puffy. Um, this is 16 bills in here, and it's just too puffy for my liking. It's like kind of um, reshaping the envelope, and I don't like it, so that's why I'm doing a condensing. If you guys are fine with that, that's fine. It can hold that much, and it doesn't come out. It holds the money well. Um, I haven't tried like flipping it viciously, even like that. Like, okay, if you're flipping it like that, the money may be like flying out, but um, I feel like you shouldn't be flipping money like that. <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Okay, so for family fun, this has, this will be getting $22. So let's see how much we have and how much we can condense. So now Family Fun has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so these are all ones. So let's put this back. This is $100. Okay, and this now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can grab the nicer ones, put this back, and grab a 5. So this has $109, which is awesome. Alright, next up for household. Household will be getting, let's see. Five dollars. Oops. So household now has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Nice. So all these fives going back and I'm grabbing a fifty dollar. A fifty dollar bill. Alright, household is now all done. Next up for beauty. Beauty will be getting fifteen dollars. And then let's see how much it has. It now has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, so we can do 50 and a 10. And put all that back. Honestly, this is pretty awesome knowing that I only put in like $15 and now we're at 80 so that's awesome. Alright, next up for Costco membership. This will be getting $10. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 70. Do I want to exchange for a 50? Sure, why not? That's the whole point of this video. Right, Costco membership is now all done. Next up for Starbucks, this will be getting this five dollars. Do I want to swap it for a ten? Why not? All right, Starbucks is now all done. Next up for date night, this is getting twenty dollars. So if I put in 20, it's 20, 40, 60, 80. So this will get $100. All right, date night is now all done. Next up for miscellaneous. This will be getting $5 as well. So this now has, it has 15, but because I'm adding 5, this will be getting 20. This is an ugly 20, so I'm going to swap it for a good... Oops. I'm going to swap it for a nicer 20. Alright, miscellaneous is now all done. Next up for Costco, we are putting in $80. So let's do 50 This one's really ugly, so... What is wrong with this? 
Okay. Okay, we're doing $80 in for Costco. I'll start this over. All right, Costco is now all done. Last but not least, we do have spending. Spending is getting $20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 125, 130, 35, 637. So for this. Let's just grab 100 here. We have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 100, 25, 30, 35. Okay. So 137 dollars. I did have 15 dollars, and I think I'm gonna put that into my kids birthday party yeah I don't think I'm gonna put it anywhere else okay this feels so much better you guys this was super puffy earlier and I don't I don't think it was like having a really hard time closing um, but now it's just so much better okay perfect so I am oops Okay, so for this one right here, we are going to put some of the extra money, the $15, into my kid's birthday. So it's supposed to be $15. So if I put in $15, it's 20, 30, 35, 40. Okay, cool. So I can actually do this sorry it's early <laughs> so now birth kids birthday says one hundred and forty dollars which is awesome and it's very slim and compact so I love okay Alright guys, so that basically wraps up this video. I know it's kind of all over the place. It's my first like cash stuffing and unstuffing at the same time with a bill swap. So sorry if it's all over the place. I will try to get better. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on making this a better process, please let me know. It's been a while since I've done an unstuffing or a bill swap. So yeah, I would appreciate any feedback. I am planning to relist my cash envelopes on Friday. I am unsure of the time right now, but I'm currently trying to process the rest of the orders. Um, honestly, you guys, I hope you guys understand that these are all custom orders, so I do need to take my time to make it. So my current processing time is two to three weeks, and I take my time in creating these envelopes for you guys. It's not as easy as everyone thinks it is also i am a stay-at-home working mom of two so i do need the extra time to process your orders although i may say it's two to three weeks i tend to finish the envelopes within the one to two week time frame but it's very exhausting to answer all of the messages i get regarding your orders um specifically for the people that are asking for refunds because it's just taking too long um honestly my shop policy is no cancellation no refunds just remember that i am a human being behind the behind the camera and behind the etsy shop i i have my feelings i am a mom of two and i'm working my butt off every single day to get these done for you guys so please, please, please be, be kind and be nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon.